Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mikey speaking. I did promise you I was going to go over Tapestry, so let's go over them really quick and let's go over what I actually did with a couple of my stocks in the stock market today. Now today I'll just be on Webull, on, yeah, I'll be on Webull, sorry about that, not my M1 Finance account. I do own Tapestry in my M1 Finance account. I only own maybe like $30, $32, somewhere around there of Tapestry currently. They're not a big holding for me, but I do intend to buy more throughout the year. So eventually I will probably own about $300 worth of Tapestry. Now, without diving too deep into them, Tapestry is a company, let's go over to their website. They actually own brands like Kate Spade, Coach, don't know how to say that, third one. <laughs> but they actually own quite a few brands. And the main thing I like about them is their total assets, if we're looking at annually, $7.92 billion versus the liabilities, $5.65 billion. You're looking at a $2 plus billion from asset to liability, which I think is amazing. It just really is great. Um, overall, the company is, since they do sell clothes and purses and shoes and stuff like that, they are recovery stock. I started buying them at like, 12 13 bucks and sold around 17. Now they're sitting at 19. It would be nicer if I held them longer. But I digress. They are a recovery stock, so keep that in mind if we don't get a stimulus check and stuff like that, the stock can keep coming down. But they have so much money set aside and like I just showed you their debt versus assets, their assets are on the winning end. They're a great stock. If you were to buy into this stock individually, and I don't know if it'll come down to this price, but I would actually wait to the break of sixteen fifty before you start even entering in this stock. That's just my opinion, of course. Unless you're doing like an M1 finance and buying in slowly, it would be a different story. But yeah, I would look at sixteen fifty. If it can break $16, I would definitely add into my individual account and my Weeble into this stock. But that's basically, in short, why I like Tapestry. I don't try to dig too deep into them. I try to find companies that overall, year after year, have more assets than liabilities. And that number increases, as you see, year after year, they do increase their assets. And their liabilities have been increasing as well. But the gap in between the two is what I like. That it, the gap from assets versus liability grows more towards the asset side. All right, so let's go to here. So what I ended up doing is I sold some Disney today. Let's pull them up. I was having a hard time finding Disney. Everything else is basically alphabetical order except for Disney. I don't know why. So sold some Disney at 129.73. I put a stop loss when it broke above 130 and it hit my stop loss. So made a nice few bucks off of that. I was pretty happy with that. I'm looking at re-entering in Disney over here at the 128.14. I'll probably enter about two. And then I'll wait till around once it hits one below 127. Below 127, I'll probably add four, and below 126 is when I'll add the rest of my position. That's where I'm looking at Disney. I do believe it's going to come back up, but Disney is also a recovery stock as well. Now, they do have streaming services, ESPN, Disney+, Plus, Hulu. So they're more than just a theme park, but their main thing that they're known for, honestly, right now is one, their Disney movies, and two, their theme parks. So they're still a recovery play, but I do like the fact that they are focusing more on streaming. And that's why you actually saw this spike up in Disney because they announced that they're actually going to focus more of their money and time into the streaming, making movies like Mulan and stuff like that. So that's really cool. All right. Next would be, I, oh, I got two, three, four free stocks. Thank you for whoever sat here and used my link. And deposited $100 for Weeble. I actually ended up getting four free stocks. I didn't get anything nice. Um, but it was still almost 40 bucks. So thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. All right. 
let's go back to my account details no positions here we go so in here again this is just my individual account quick reminder in my ira account if it loads i haven't sold anything and i'm not planning on selling anything i'm just going to hold off my positions for now i have no reason to sell anything here until mm, around my birthday when I buy in some more into my IRA account. Going back to the individual account, Tesla, I'm green, but barely. Tesla is struggling right here at that marker around 448 and change. It does not want to break. I, I don't know why. I need Tesla to come back up to 500 so I can start selling some of these stocks. Apple, they had a spike down. I was tempted to sell, but I don't want to. It would have been a great entry at 122 for anyone who wanted a graph sun. I don't know if it's going to come back down to that price range, but 122 would have been a great add to Apple. I really do believe in their event today. I think it's 1 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. I think with the new 5G phone, they're going to do great. Again, everything's in my opinion. Buy at your own risk. I'm just giving you what I'm looking at. But these are just my opinions on the stocks. Smith & Weston is still red. It had a nice spike up here and just started coming back down, just holding them. I'm not... I'm not looking at doing anything to the break of 18 and I'll figure out where I want to sell. My honestly position right now is around $18. But I think this is going to be one I hold for six months to a year. We'll see. AT&T selling off. This would be a great entry in my opinion. Anything below 28 is a great buy. As you see, it comes down below 28, hits a few cents lower and comes right back up. And it's done this a couple of times. You see once there. Let's see if it's done it again. Uh, that wasn't as low. It's, here we go. Comes below 28 and comes right back up. Again, below 28 is an extremely great grab. But you are catching a falling knife if you're buying at this price. Because it is just selling off as you see here. Just red, 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 red. Has no confirmation on the way up currently. So what you can do is just hold off. Maybe to tomorrow and see if it comes, maybe see if it has a green day. Yeah, you may be buying a little bit higher, 28.10, 28.20, but then you have confirmation that it's coming on the way up. If you wanted confirmation, I would say, mm, I would say 28.25. After it breaks, 28.25, it should start headed back up, but we'll see. That's just what I'm looking at at the charts. And Rocket seems to do, oh, Rocket's doing beautiful. Um, no complaints here. 24.24 is a resistance. Let's see if it can break that and hold above it. But that's it. I'm not really looking at anything else. Again, sold my Disney, sold the free stocks I got just because I didn't care to hold the stocks I got. Other than that, I'm not selling anything else for today. I'm actually not going to make another trade for today unless something just completely spikes all the way down. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good trading day. Bye.